How's it going everybody? This is Waste back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build an API using Fossify, especially using TypeScript. I've already done a full course on Fossify using plain JavaScript. This video is going to be about Fossify setup with TypeScript. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with Fossify and TypeScript. First, we need to set up a package. To be able to set up a package, you are going to first of all initialize it with npin init dash y. I'm going to press enter, and here I've got a package.json. Here's an index.js file for our entry file. Next, we're going to install Fastify. And once I install Fastify, you will see that we will have a dependency key here, and then it will have a Fastify install. Next, we're going to install TypeScript and node types. Now we use this D flag. It's because I want to save that as a dev dependency, not as a project dependency. Set up TypeScript with this Fossify, so I'll use tsc command dash dash init. If you haven't installed TypeScript globally, what you could do is use npx tsc dash dash init. I'll just use this, and this will create us this ts config file. Within this file, I'd like to change some changes, and here we would like to select ES next. So we're going to use the next version of TypeScript. I'm going to uncomment this base URL and out directory. So let's find out dir. That's what we need. And I'm going to find module resolution. And that would be node. So let's uncomment that line as well. Okay, so we got this target set up, module to common.js, node as module resolution, base URL. Next, we go out directory, which will be our build. So actually, instead of just using dot slash, I would like to use this dist. Okay, next, we're going to go to ES module interpolation, make sure it's true. Force consistent casting file name, we can make it true as well, strict, true. let's create index.ts file. Let's go back to package.json and I'm going to be creating a couple of scripts here. So the first script is going to be the build script and then the start script. So got the script tag above here on line 6 to 8. I'm going to just get rid of that. Let's save package.json. We run this npn run build script. What it's going to do, it's going to generate this index.js file. The index.js file is going to be our main file, as you can see here. And I'm going to install another global dependency. So it can install dash ig node mon. Let's modify our start script. So I will just paste that script there and then I'll explain it. So here tsc w is basically going to compile the TypeScript file and watch for any changes. Then we got this and symbol, which basically tells that please run the previous command after you run the node mon. Now node mon is the dependency that we just installed, which is going to run this index.js file. Let's go to terminal and I am going to run the start command. Now it says starting compilation in a watch mode. That's a TypeScript thing. And then we have this hello world, hello world in index.ts file. So if I remove one hello world and I save the file, you will see that our code is running now. Let's start by setting up the Fastify server. We'll start with the import and I'm going to import Fastify from Fastify. And then we are going to create a server. So I'll just use this, let's say app equal to Fastify. You can also pass in a configuration. For example, you can pass in logger and we can set that to true. Okay, let me 
go to the next line and now we have the server running now we'll go to app and we're going to register the first route and we can just say this is going to be our first route and the first route is going to take request and reply and then we are going to reply just say hello world so we're going to use app.listen and we're going to use the port which is going to be let's say 3000 and then we can also do an address and here this line is basically um, telling me that if there is an error just log the error and kill the process before we're going to run this code i would like to probably add some types so the app is going to be a type of fastify instance so your code is giving me a suggestion and i'm going to import fastify instance from fastify and add that as a type try to run this i'm going to open terminal and i'm going to type npm start and here we're getting a couple of errors saying this TypeScript config JSON file doesn't have include and exclude keys. Let's go and fix those. So here I'm going to add a comma and I'm going to paste those. Here I'm saying just include all of the TypeScript files and exclude node modules and a type definition file and a spec file. In the future, we might want to do some testing for a Falsify server. Next, I'm going to change this out dir to this. Save that as well. Next, we are going to go to package.json file, and the main file is going to be this slash index.js. Okay, we're going to go into this start script as well, and it would be this slash index.js. Okay, let's close package.json file and close this TS config. And I can see the errors. There's no errors actually. Compilation part is done. There is no issue. But you notice there is no server running from Fastify because this command is not being executed. And the problem with that is if you don't have installed NodeMod globally or as a dev dependency, then you will not be able to serve this JavaScript file, right? So what we need to do is stop the server, npm install dash g, and install NodeMod. Once NodeMod is installed, then we will execute npm run start again. Server is listening on port 3000. If you look at ports, you will see port 3000 has been port forwarded. Now, if I go to turn um, client and send a request, and you'll see hello world is being returned. Okay. Now we can go and change this to let's say hello world modified. Let's save it. And in the terminal, you'll see our server will start again. And if we send the request now, you will see the result is hello, hello world um, modified. So at this stage, we have successfully installed NodeMon um, TypeScript configuration and set up the Fastify server. Let's talk about using generics. The type system in Fastify heavily relies on generic properties to provide the most accurate development experience. App.get implements two interfaces route generic interface which contains five named properties body query string param headers and reply the interface body query string params and headers will be passed down to the route method into the method handler into the request instance and the reply interface to the reply instance so let's create an interface right above so i'm going to actually we can provide an interface as an object or you can also specify interface above so let's say interface and i'm going to first of all specify a request interface or we can just name it custom so query interface and it can have a couple of properties in query string so let's say username that would be a type string and let's say password type string okay we can also create an interface for headers so we'll just say i headers let me make h capital and this will take let's say 
yeah, X, uh, access token. Now to be able to use this, if you go up here, let me zoom in a bit. And we're going to use this generic symbol and pass in the object. And this object is going to take a query string, first of all. So that's Q is capital. And then that would be I query interface. Okay. And then it's going to have a headers that will take I headers interface. Okay. So while you pass this, then what you can do now in the request, you could actually say cons username and password request dot query. So this bit will be passed down to the request object and you can also specify a reply. So if I do reply, and we can pass in interface i reply and here we can just say code message and we can just maybe a body any okay and then we can say i reply is going to be this type now this one is going to uh, cause an error because the I reply is not properly done. So what I'm going to do now is let's say return reply dot send and it would have an object code, a message success and a body. You can pass in a username or password whatever you like okay so let's close this done okay now you want an error because you have properly typed the reply that you're expecting from this request now this is how you can implement custom interfaces now this information can be found in official documentation falsify but I would like to take you to a declaration file that is provided by Fastify. So if you look at the at Fastify, actually not, you're going to go to Fastify and then inside the source code, you will see types and then here all the types available. For example, for route, if you go to route.d.ts, you will see route generic interface and that's what we are using. It extends request interface and then the reply generic interface. I will go and click on that. And here you can see we use this query string. We use headers and a body. Okay. And a body is just like a unknown type, but you can pass in your custom types with that. They're all optional. The same way, if we go back and then here's a reply and it needs a reply and reply default would be, I guess, unknown as well. So you can pass in your own custom um, interface to it. And here, all the type definitions that are available in Falsify source code, you can actually go ahead and then take a look at what's possible. So you can use all the um, interfaces that are provided by the source code, but also using generics, you can override those properties as well. Now, this one is a very important one, instance.d.ts. This is like the main interface for Fastify. So anything Fastify can do can be found here. For example, if you want to call a decorate function and decorate function is something that will take a property or a symbol and it will also have the value accents args. Um, if you understand uh, TypeScript, then you should be able to understand these de definitions, but it's very, very easy to follow what's available. Now, I don't want to go into detail because this is purely a, a setup video or how you get started with Fastify and TypeScript. Now we've achieved that bit, but I'll take you to a documentation quickly. And if you go to official documentation of Fastify in docs, you will see a reference and here is Fastify TypeScript documentation. Here it'll talk about how you can set it up and follow the same guide, but showed you some generics that you can use. 
the guide here uh, I want to show you is about plugins. You can go through this, the very simple stuff that they're explaining. It's good to go through this, but I would like to point out here, creating TypeScript Fastify plugins. And here, if you don't read this passage, you will miss out one thing and you find that something is not working. Take a look at this uh, line. This is something special to TypeScript plugins than JavaScript plugin. So here you see you have this export interface, my plugin options and my plugin options. Set that to string, okay? And this gets implemented for all the plugins that you will be writing. In JavaScript, you won't have to do that, but for every plugin you write uh, with TypeScript, you will have to specify your uh, plugin options. So this is uh, this is it for this tutorial. If you have any question or any issues related to Fastify and TypeScript, you can comment below and I'll try to answer because I've been using Fastify and TypeScript uh, for some time now and I really like the combination of both um, Fastify and then the TypeScript. All right, thank you so much for watching and I speak to you guys in the next video. Cheers.